Greetings everybody, Okai Games Online. Welcome back to more Danganronpa 2. Last time, we had not one, but two murders. And, uh, well, we had... We first had Ibuki uh, hanged here. And when we went to get everyone and came back, Hyoko was here as well, suspended. And this episode... Let's start investigating. Let's start with this, because it's very obviously sticking out. Shy remains of a machine are spread all over the floor. I see. I see. This appears to be the surveillance camera unit. This, too, must be the will of causality. Kazuichi put it in the music venue for communication purposes. <laughs> Why is it destroyed like this? Um... Perhaps criminal psychology is at play here? What do you mean? Well... Even if they know they are not being recorded, there's no way the killer would tolerate committing a murder in front of a camera. Fine. So that's why they destroyed the camera. <laughs> Seems plausible enough. To hesitate to murder someone in front of a camera, and that's why the killer destroyed this? And what was that thing I saw? Who knows? Who knows at this point? Uh, I guess we'll check the bodies next. Oh, well, here's the candle that was in the video. It's a massive candle positioned near the front of the stage. Like the one in the video. Yep, the doll light. A candle this huge might be perfect for lighting, but they need a bar using a candle. You just use the normal stage lighting. Next is the stepladder. The stepladder is tipped over its side. I see some blood on it. This must be the stepladder that Ibuki used in the video I saw. Isn't that a blood stain? There's blood around the left side of the stepladder. As I recall, Ibuki didn't have any external injuries. If that's the case, then it must be Hiyoko's blood. Yep. It's the only thing I can think of. A blood stain that probably belongs to Hiyoko is on the left side of the stepladder. What does it mean? Stepladder has been added. Alright, hemp bag. We'll look at this next. Ibuki had a hemp bag on her head and was hanging from the ceiling. But why did she have a hemp bag on her head? Wait, huh? A hemp bag. Upon further inspection, there's a monomy decal on the fabric. It looks like this isn't just a normal bag. There's a rope here. It's a rope that was tied to the baton lighting on the ceiling. Ibuki hanged herself with this rope and died. From what I can tell, it looks like a regular length of rope with no unnatural features. But despite the fact this music venue has a storage room, there shouldn't have been any rope in there. Which means... Was it obtained from the supermarket? Did the killer bring it from there? That means anybody could have obtained this rope, and it means it'd be difficult to use this as a clue. <laughs> I wonder if that's true. Huh? Oh, I just noticed a little something. Is it okay if I confirm it? Hey! Excuse me, Mikon. Do you have a moment? Uh, what happened? Uh, there's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hanged by this rope, right? Well... Yes. She had no other external injuries, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. I see. So, Ibuki died by hanging herself. It was obvious the moment we discovered the body. We might not have seen it, but we all saw that she hanged herself. <laughs> You're right. Yep, I got it. So this rope won't be much of a clue. I might as well search another place. Jeez, as usual, I have no idea what he's up to. Well, even if it's not a clue, it's added to the truth bullet section anyway. What about this curtain? It's 
black curtain hanging at the far side of the stage. This curtain, it's not wide enough. You can't reach from one edge of the stage to the other. Huh? It's not really a full-length curtain. This curtain wasn't originally here, right? If it was, it's strange that it doesn't fit properly. Hmm. It was probably obtained from the furniture section at the supermarket. Always the supermarket, isn't it? See, the back of the curtain is taped for, te for temporary use. Just like the curtain at the supermarket. So you're saying someone took the time to actually bring that curtain from the supermarket? So... If they went that far, this is probably something that the killer really needed for this crime. Why did they need it? Hmm. Who knows? Well, it wouldn't be a mystery if the answers came easily. Easy. The curtain's been added, and now... So as soon as we not, may not want to, we gotta check the bodies. Ibuki's body lay atop the stage. She was wearing the hospital gown she was wearing when she was sick. Hmm? What's this on Ibuki's feet? Looks like blood. I didn't notice when she was hanging, but the soles of her feet were dirty. It's... Blood, right? But there shouldn't be any external injuries on Ibuki. If that's the case, this blood belongs to someone else. Blood on the soles has been added. Damn right. Hey Hajime, can I talk to you for a sec? You already discovered the body before you met up with us, right? Yeah. First, I didn't know it was Ibuki because of that hemp bag, though. But I knew right away she was dead since she was hanging from that rope. Like... Which means Ibuki must have died before Hioka was tied up. Well... That helps. There's no time of death written in the Monokuma file this time. So I wasn't really sure who died first. It's true. Their estimated time of death wasn't written in the Monokuma file this time. But I should know when Ibuki died because... I personally saw it. In that video, Ibuki was climbing the stepladder on her own. So right after that... Wait, hold on. If Ibuki climbed that stepladder and died right after... Does that mean she committed suicide? No, that's impossible. Because even if Ibuki committed suicide... It doesn't explain Kyoko's death afterward. Two different deaths happened at the same time. There's no way that's a coincidence. What about Hyoko's body? Can we get anything useful out of this? Hyoko's body is suspended against the pillar on the side of the stage. She's wrapped against the pillar with duct tape. And she looked like she was forced to stand upright. Damn it, who did this? According to the Monokuma file, her cause of death was a slit throat. Her neck looks like it's stopped bleeding, probably because of the duct tape wrapped around it. But why is Kyoko's kimono like this? Her, kimo her kimono is all disheveled. Also, her sash is tied in the front. Did the killer do this too? But when did the killer kill Hyoko? When I first discovered Ibuki's body, I didn't see Hyoko's body here. If that's the case, Hyoko was killed. It must have been during the time I was getting everyone before coming back here. That was barely 10 minutes. Is it really possible that the killer killed Hyoko? and taped her up in such a short amount of time? Even if it is possible, whoever did it would have had a narrow window of time to do so. Because the killer must be someone who doesn't have an alibi during that time, right? Hey! Hajime, do you have a minute? What now, Nagito? No, you're in the way. Now, now. I don't wish to be in your way at all. But there's something I really need your help with. Help. Actually, if you look closely, there's an unnatural shape bulging from inside Hyoko's kimono. So I was thinking she might be hiding something. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me you. 
want to search inside Hyoko's kimono. Huh? That's exactly it. Why? Well, it wouldn't be a problem if she were alive, but she's dead now, you know? Don't mess with me. Are you saying there's no problem with that now that she's dead? <laughs> Fine, if you don't want to do it, I'll just have to ask someone else. Hey! Akane! Yo! Yo, what's up? Hey. Well, there's something I want you to do for me. It looks like there's something inside Hyoko's kimono. Can you feel around for that? What? Hmm? I don't really understand, but I just gotta check Hyoko's kimono, right? Thanks. Thank you, Akane. Helping each other is such a wonderful thing. Now then. Hmm. Let's see. Akane reached through the duct tape, binding Hyoko as she stuck her hand inside her kimono. That's weird. Damn it, she's tied up so tight I can't really search with my hand. Oh, wait, hold on. Yo. There's something. Is this what you were looking for? Is this a key? Perhaps. It looks different than the keys to the cottage. So this may be the key to our motel room. The key to our motel room, huh? But... If her key was so deep inside her kimono, that... that would be hard... <laughs> Words. If her key was so deep inside her kimono that it'd, it'd be hard to remove, I still botched that, but we're rolling with it. And it's very unlikely that the killer tampered with this evidence. Isn't that right? Because if this is a trap, they would have put it more toward the front of her kimono, so we'd notice it easier. Which means we can conclude this is something Kyoko had with her all along. Well, tell room key's been added. Hey. Uh, also, it's not like I'm adding to that or anything. You looked like you were curious about the condition of Hyoka's body. Right, Hajime? Of course, that's why I'm investigating. Hmm. It's true, there are several mysteries regarding her body. Well, just hear me out for a second. Out of all those mysteries, what I think is the strangest is... See? The way they wrapped her body with that duct tape. It's almost like they were trying to hide the wound on Hyoko's neck, don't you think? Hide the wound on her neck? <laughs> I don't I don't really know if that was their true intention, but I guess it's a big help for our investigation. The reason for the low volume of blood is because the duct tape is acting as a compress, right? If her body was left alone after her throat was slit, the surrounding area would be a sea of blood. A sea of blood, huh? Two dead bodies floating in a sea of blood. That's enough to make anybody faint. Still things we need to investigate? Actually, the AC control panel since it's unusually hot in here. This looks like the music venue's AC unit. Right, might be able to adjust the hot air in the music venue with this. Alright, I shouldn't mess with, around with that a little. Like so. It's running as a heater. Over 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I know why it's so damn hot. I better turn off the heater for now. That should cool things off a little. AC temperature's been added. What about you, Chiaki? Have you gotten anything out of this? With her arms crossed and a thoughtful look on her face, Chiaki was silently staring at the stage floor. Did something drop on the floor there? Mm. Nothing dropped. It's just dirty. Dirty? Hey, hey. See? Take a close look at the floor. I see? If you look closely... Right. There's a smudge as if something was wiped off. Wait, this isn't something. Is this a blood stain? Yep. Well, a blood stain isn't strange. Hyoko's neck was slashed not far from here. But still. Rather, what's strange is, why did the killer try to hide it? Hide it? So. If they weren't trying to hide it, they wouldn't have bothered wiping it off. The reason the killer wiped off the blood stain. As long as the body is nearby. There's no way they'd be able to conceal the crime by wiping off a blood stain. 
So what was the tr the killer trying to hide? Smudge on the floor has been added. I think that's... Yep, that's everything now. Maybe there's something we can use in the storage room? There's a door that says staff only. Looks like the inside is a storage room. Might as well investigate in here, too. Storage room. What do we have here? Just, just keep my eye out for something. All right, looks like it's not here. What well, I'm thinking it must be somewhere else. Shelves. There's carpeting, wallpaper, and paint on the shelf. It's probably used for stage decorations. Hmm. The thick black paper that's folded up on the lower shelf it looks like wallpaper. There are a lot of stickers pasted all over the front side of this wallpaper. And this edge of the wallpaper... It looks a little torn, but... What does this mean? It could mean something. What do you think, Nagito? Nagito? Did you come here to investigate this storage room, too? <laughs> I just wanted to confirm what you were thinking. Is that it? Or is he trying to stand guard here? Hey. So how about it? Did you find any clues? The tipped over stepladder on the stage. The duct tape binding Hyoko. That probably all came from the storage room. There might be other things from the storage room that they use for the crime. You always pretend to give me hints, but in the end, you're just going to be on the killer's side, right? <laughs> oh, I'm not siding with a killer, you know. I'm just on the side of whoever acts in the name of hope. That's all there is to it. But... That's the main reason why this case is really special. Huh? Man. But I can't say for certain, though. What is this guy saying? As usual, he's not making any sense. Hajime. By the way, Hajime. I still don't quite understand the details of what happened. Right? Hey, if you can explain it to me in detail, I think I'd be able to give you some more useful information. Really? You might end up confusing us again instead. You don't want to find the truth, you just want to make us suffer. How mean. It's not true. I'm doing this because I believe it's for everyone's sake. Oh well. For the sake of everyone's hope, I'd gladly become the enemy, and I won't even mind when I die. Damn it. That's the main reason why I can't overlook this case this time. Huh? What does that mean? <laughs> Regardless, I guess you're not going to tell me, huh? Then it can't be helped. I guess I'll just rely on my gut feelings. Gut feelings? Hey. You should come by later, too. I'll go there first and wait for you. Where exactly are you talking about? <laughs> well, obviously, the movie theater. After he said that, Naruto walked out of my sight. Mo <sighs> These typos are bothering me! Move theater. Why the sudden interest in the movie theater? There's still stuff. Now, right, how about these stickers? There's a lot of stickers with the venue's logo placed here. It's like they made a bunch of them. Ah, too many left over. It feels somewhat depressing. Huh? Compared to the last time, it feels like there are less stickers than before. Am I overthinking this? Still stuff, alright. The mirror. Fine, I'll, I'll check the mirror. See, so you're whole body in this huge full length mirror. It's probably just used for checking costumes. A mirror this big? Easy to check how you look. That's everything important, alright. Just had to check the damn mirror of all things. Is there anything else? Mm, we probably still have to get testimony from people. Next time on Danganronpa 2. We're going to talk to everyone and see what they know. We've got... Five people here, it looks like, that we can talk to. And Naito has interest in the movie theater, so we'll be heading there next time as well. See you guys then. Thank you.